Oh, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The Kong happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The Kong? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fate's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the center of And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. I can't believe Baird secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, you put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it could crawled in anywhere. Well, you pulled it. Look who's it. You got a scion. And it's got a blast. 
Houston! Ron, put these assholes down. Appreciate that. On me, up here. was the UIR space program. All right, so all the exits are blocked. Now what? Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. Jack, Frank. <laughs> Let's hope this one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again.
Get in there, Jack. That's the ticket. those beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. The beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the armor out. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. See what you can do. Can't believe that knackered thing still works. Not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in base. Okay, they're active! Hey, it's no difference to me! Delete these malfunctions!
thing. Help me! We gotta pull them together! What the hell? Why isn't this stopping? Brakes might be toast. I don't know. We'll have to discuss that later. Swarm! <laughs> Expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Time to get out of here. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the school. There's lots of enough people in there. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You're covered. Okay, let's go. J-2, 
Eddie, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, Storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. <laughs> We got swarms, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're tall! Move right! Yeah, tomato, tomato! It's dead! Jack, take them! <laughs> <laughs>
open! Let's get our asses inside! JD has the beacon. Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Way to the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Foss, Dell. Why don't you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. This ain't an engine my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the cog border? That's gory technology, my friends. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. OK, big fella. Let's get you aboard. I'm ready to go. So are Paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Books, Faz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. So honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. So, what's the deal with this water tower? Are we stopping or not? <laughs> Something, but the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Had to warn us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Anfield's just ahead. Mark the skip as close as you can. That beacon's kinda heavy. And so we meet again. Let's get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Where's Baird? In back. 
He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. You should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Bear's going back to New Affair with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. About it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here. Swarm coming in. Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it. Delta, come on.
like I want you to stay, man. Come on, we still have shit to do in this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skiff. 